Gentlemen, if there is one thing that I've learned from doing videos on YouTube and then on I Am Alpha M, it would be that American styles do not equal world style. So, whatever I talk about, like today, I'm talking about bathing suits. It is just one stupid American's opinion. So, styles may be a bit different in your neck of the woods, and as Americans, we are a bit little shy about our bodies, but take it for what it is. I'm going to give you my impre impression and take on swimsuits. So today we are talking about swimsuits. All right, now regardless of where you live, I don't want you to wear a swimsuit that has elastic waistband if you can help it. Now I understand that sometimes you just can't help it. The only swimsuits you have at your disposal are ones with elastic waistbands. The reason I say not to wear elastic waistband it, blah, swimsuits is because that elastic tends to create a ballooning effect of the swimsuits as opposed to sw swimsuits that have a solid fabric band like this. Now here's the deal. I probably need to get a different bathing suit because I'm using a green screen. It basically chroma keys green out so these swimsuits have green in them so you're probably seeing my shirt as the background. Uh, so let me get a different swimsuit. <laughs> Swimsuit, okay, less uh, <laughs> less green in this one. Anyway, notice the waistband. It's a solid fabric waistband, um, and this is going to actually create a slimming effect. This is not going to allow that swimsuit to bulge and bag out. Now, the trick is finding a solid waistband that actually fits. Typically, they're going to come in like small, medium, large, extra large, double X, whatever, but you can occasionally find them to where they correlate to jean sizes and pant sizes. I would get a pair that is snug, not tight so that things are spilling over unnecessarily, but snug because when these puppies get wet, you jump in, they are either going to hit the ground or they're going to stay up. They do have a drawstring, but this is only good for about, I'd say, a little bit of cinching. This isn't actually going to keep them on you really, really snugly. I would, snugly? Is that a word? Snugly? I know snuggling is. I love to. <laughs> so find a swimsuit that fits you well, that you can't just come up behind you and, and pants you. Now, as far as the length is concerned, I go right above the knee. I used to wear them a little bit longer to where they came actually mid-knee or below the knee, but I really feel that that breaks up the nice clean visual lines of the body and actually breaks and makes your lower body look a bit shorter. You're also going to see in America and possibly, probably globally, that swimsuits are getting a little bit shorter. You're actually finding them now come in like mid-thigh varieties. And this is great. If you can pull it off or you feel comfortable doing that, I say go with the mid-thigh. It makes you look taller. It makes you look leaner. It actually looks pretty good. Here's an example. Now let's talk about what color or fabric you should have, and really it's all over the board. I would personally recommend going with something a little bit more subdued as opposed to huge, big, bold, out there, big neon yellow tropical flowers. And But hey, I've seen guys look great. I've seen it really work. Typically, if you're going to wear a really bright, fun swimsuit, I want your skin color to be a bit more tan, not pasty white, because the bright, bold colors tend to wash you out and will make you look that much whiter. But I typically will go with something like a tan or something like, you know, just something a little bit more muted. Um, it's all in the detail though. The other swimsuit I showed you actually had slits in the side of the legs, giving it a nice little something extra. Uh, but really, swimsuits are all over the board. There is no right, there is no wrong. Um, I will even say, hey, I have seen Speedos look great on guys that are like swimmers, but I would not necessarily recommend them for you or guys like I. <laughs> that even makes sense? I wouldn't necessarily wear Speedos, but I know that there are some European countries that that's pretty much the go-to swimsuit. If you're not in a Speedo, it looks like you're wearing something that is definitely out of place. So I'm not going to say no to Speedos. I'm just saying no to Speedos for most of you and me, definitely. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> horrific sight, <laughs> unless it is a thong, and then it gets a pass. But as far as swimsuits are concerned, really, you know, sky's the limit as far as colors and patterns are concerned. If you're in the U.S. and you're looking for a good deal on swimsuits, I would say go check out Old Navy. I've gotten a bunch of swimsuits at Old Navy. Um, also, cheap swimsuits, I got this one. It's actually Massimo uh, from Target. 
they have a great selection as well. Some of those surf shops that you find at the beach and at the shore have a wonderful selection, but you're going to pay a premium dollar for those swimsuits. Um, and I would recommend having more than one swimsuit, definitely. So if you're on vacation or holiday somewhere, maybe have two at minimum, possibly three that you can rotate. While one's drying, you're in a different one so that you're at the beach for multiple days, you're not wearing the exact same thing. But that's just my two cents on bathing suits. The point of the matter, the the fact of the matter is that you're at the beach and you're loving it and you're looking great because you've spent the time this past winter taking care of yourself and getting in the best shape of your life. So congratulations on that, gentlemen.